Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to integrate Freshdesk with your website. Integrating Freshdesk with your website allows you to provide seamless customer support and ticketing functionality directly on your site. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of integrating Freshdesk with your website. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's just start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can simply go and open whatever browser you have. Once you open your browser, you can simply go to this URL section, simply type freshdesk.com and hit the insert button. Of course, this will take you to freshworks.com slash freshdesk. But if you type just freshdesk.com directly, they will take you here directly. <laughs> So if you're not used to this website, of course, or you will have to go and familiarize yourself with it, scroll down and read all the information about it. And of course, this will this links can help you understand more about it. And if you just created your account, you'll get a 21 days free trial. And of course, if you have an account, simply go and log into your account. If you don't, just go and create an account or start a free trial. And once you access your fresh desk account, you will find yourself on the dashboard right here. And of course, once your 21 days ends, of course, you will have the enterprise like uh, plan. So once it's finished, you will normally be uh, taken to the free plan. So if you want a better plan, you can simply go and choose this example. Of course, uh, the free plan will like some features, but if you're not like going to use it for a big thing, it's fine to have a free plan. So now, as we said before, we would like to integrate Freshdesk with your website. So in the left corner, make sure to go and access the admin settings by clicking on this gear icon or admin settings or whatever it is and of course once you are here make sure to go navigate to the web widget settings of course if you don't want to go through all these things and look for it you can simply go and type here web or widgets and as you can see you will find it here so you can embed help articles or contacts form on your website or product so simply click on it and as you can see from here you'll be able to create a new widget once you click on it as example you'll be able to give it a name for your widgets as example so for me i'm just going to type test and here you'll have to go and choose a product so the product the only product i have here is just example so i'm just going to click on create so you will have now to simply configure the web widget settings. So in the web widget settings, you will find like various options to configure uh, how the fresh disk uh, widgets will appear on your website. You can customize the widgets appearance, position and behavior according to your preferences. So you can go and uh, edit the banner message, the widget launch text, and of course here the contacts form. So simple contacts form or like show form with tickets fields. So you can go and do whatever suits you. So if you choose the first option, you'll have to fill like the title of the form, form size submit button and the form confirmation message and of course you can even allow customers to attach file if you want to enable captcha to prevent spam of course you cannot even disable this and of course allow customers to chat to attach a screenshot and you can even go and enable this option if you choose to show form with tickets of course you'll have to go and even add the tickets for your form and even go and choose like if you want to report the issue ask question or inquire status and of course you'll have to go and add the, the other stuff so whatever you edit here example you just choose the first option so whatever you choose here you will find this right here as an example so instead of contacts us i'm just going to type test and as you can see it's changed here so whatever you did it will be changed here and you'll be able to see everything uh, that is changed here so if you'll find with all of this you can simply go and hit the save button and as you can see now it's saved and this is gonna be your thing of course you can even go and edit the appearance if you want to depending on the colors the uh, a lot of other stuff that you can go and uh, choose the patterns even and a lot of stuff as you can see so with widget position do you want it to be in the uh, bottom left or bottom right uh, the button color uh, the text color so you can go and choose uh, the things that you want to you can even edit the frustration tracking and of course once you have done with everything click on save go to embed code and make sure to go and copy this code 
So once you're done with your customization, of course, you will have to go and copy this code. And once you copy this code, you will have to go and add the widgets code to your website, depending if you're having a WordPress website, uh, maybe, I don't know, a Shopify website, whatever you have, you can simply go to your website, add the widgets code and simply paste this code right there and save your uh, code or save your edits in on your website. And of course, go and preview your website and surely, surely you will have it there in your website. Once you're done, publish your website and you will be good to go. Of course, you can even go to your website and test if it's working. Go and enter your name, email, address, subject, description, and a lot of other stuff here and see if you will get your things here in, in Crash Disk and you will get it for sure and you will normally be good to go. Other than that, you will be able to do a lot of stuff on fresh disk so if you go to the dashboard example you'll find here of course this is not a, like real data so as you can see this is just a sample dashboard you can i can simply click on dismiss for like the real data of course this is just like uh, fake or made up data and of course from here on the dashboard you'll also normally see the data as you can see here and of course you can click on like a new if you want to get a new email new tickets new contacts and of course new contacts, new company, and a lot of other stuff. Of course, you can search from uh, like for some tickets, contacts, solutions, forms, or anything from the search option here, as you can see. And here you will find all notification that you can get from here. Of course, you can go and get like the help or you can contact the support of the fresh desk. Or you can go and check like on the fresh work community if you're having some issues you can go and check there if like people like you having the same issues you can maybe go and find like solutions to that already did that people already answered or the customer uh, already answered so as you can see here it's like an exciting topics maybe uh, of course depending on what's the issue that you have and of course other than that you find here the Freshwork Academy status. You can even go and install the mobile app if you don't want to keep using the Fresh uh, disk always on your PC. Maybe like using it on your phone will be more uh, easier for you. Maybe if you're traveling a lot or moving a lot. And of course, uh, other than that, of course, if you click here, you can schedule out of office. And here it's going to be just the Neo Marketplace. You can find, of course, the apps that you can integrate with and here just going to be your account you can simply go to the customer portal or profile settings or sign out so as you can see from here it's going to be uh, some simple stuff of course from here you can manage your tickets you can simply go and uh, maybe merge the tickets assign it uh, close it uh, bulk the update scenarios spam or even delete it here of course you'll find just uh, simply your contacts uh, your company here you'll find the solutions example uh, for like some questions you can see fact or frequently asked questions or gets started here you'll find the forums like people asking stuff and answers to it you can even go and add some topic if you want to if you're having some issues maybe your team or your members could help you with here of course it's just gonna be the analytics so nothing normally uh, should be here because it's just a fresh account but of course you'll normally like find things and here is just the settings admin that we just get into it of course this 3d ai uh, tool is uh, recently added to fresh disk and this will definitely help you in the future because the future will rely just on the ai so you can use this like auto triangle to use free the AI to automatically classify incoming tickets. This email bot, as you can see, send relevant help content to email queries using free the AI. Assist bot will help you build step-by-step -step guide that agents can follow for faster resolutions. Or uh, this response uh, assist will let Freda uh, Pretty AI suggests to help articles and respond to agents when they draft a reply to customers. And this uh, Freddy of course it's just in beta but it's it, the ai engine to uh, this is an ai engine to for smart reply assist features in your conversation and of course here you'll find other settings if you want to so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you've successfully uh integrated fresh disk with your website and of course this integration will allow you to your customers to access support and ticketing functionality directly to your site or on your site enhancing their experience and improving your customer service so thank you for watching we hope this tutorial will, uh, tutorial was helpful for you of course if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one and i'll see you in the next video